Hello everyone. It's sad but true. This is my last Trader Joe's haul for this year. Gotcha. Um, of course I'm not giving up my Trader Joe's hauls. I'm going to be still doing them right back at it in 2020. One Trader Joe's haul every single week at least with taste tests and this haul is no different. That's what we're doing. But this one is all about New Year's Eve, all of the appetizers that you need, the drinks, the mixers, everything that you could think of. Hopefully I got it covered. I'm hoping. Um, there are a few things to taste test that Tim and I will be taste testing at the end. So it's all included in this one video. I did want to bring up one thing that I've been hearing in my comments recently. A few people have commented and messaged me about being unsubscribed to my channel and they didn't realize it until recently and I noticed that almost a thousand people have been unsubscribed from my channel in like the last two or three days. So make sure you check and make sure that you're still subscribed, that your notification bell is turned on um, because it's really strange and I would hope they're not doing that to me and my subscriptions because I really like to know when new videos come out. So just to keep you guys aware, um, make sure you double check that. Uh, and if you guys are interested in this makeup look that I have going on, I did a get ready with me glam edition for New Year's Eve and that's why I'm so festive today because I got ready and I share with you guys all my makeup tips and tricks, which aren't really, I'm just a normal person that likes to do makeup. So um, yeah, check that video out. It will be up next after the haul in a couple days. So stay tuned for that. Now let's get started with this week's haul. Okay guys, so this is the probably biggest haul I've done all year. I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit of a pan. Look at this. This haul is taking up my entire island and I have a very big island. So. Just to give you guys an idea, this grocery haul here was about $220. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what's going on here. Let's go ahead and start. I'm going to go fast because there's so much to look at. Make sure you got your pen and paper down so that you can write down this stuff because, I, like I said, I have to go quick. So starting with the seltzer water, this is the Trader Joe's brand seltzer water that's blood orange and orange juice. It is organic and it's great to do with a mixer for any type of alcohol that you want to mix, probably vodka for me or gin, um, but these are great for mixers and as you guys will see, the theme is definitely appetizers, drink stuff, all for New Year's Eve and then New Year's morning as well. So moving on, of course had to grab more plantain crisps. At this point, I've just become... Uh, a plantain crisp myself because I, I just love these so much. They're so good. Um, the sourdough bread that we get every week. This I thought would be fun to try. This is the Cali Creamin beer. I'll show you guys the front. Really pretty label and it's like a vanilla creamsicle. Um, and I've tried the one in the blue can and it's so dang good for a beer. So I grabbed those for New Year's. I thought those would be fun. Of course, I got the big Magnum bottle of Le Eclat Blanc de Blancs champagne. I love this during this time of year. Like I said, it's a Magnum. I think it's two bottles worth. Um, it's great for New Year's because you can just open it and pour everybody a glass and then everyone can toast. You can also add Chambord to it and it looks really pretty and it tastes very good. Um, I also grabbed a Sousa Manello. I love this bottle of wine. I've shared it a few times now in hauls. I've literally probably bought 10 bottles of this this year. Tim and I love it and anyone that we have over, it's a big hit. It's just a really great tasting bottle of red wine. So um, had to get that to end the year right. And then I also grabbed just this basic Cecilia B champagne. This is the Spumante Rosé and it's a product of Italy. So I've I had this in the past and I thought it was really fun for New Year's and it's a pretty bottle too So that's why I grabbed that. Let's look in the back here This is the first haul that I've literally had to like have things in the back because it's just too much stuff So next up I grabbed the organic stone ground blue, blue corn tortilla chips um, With sprouted amaranth quinoa and chia seeds. This is a great chip. It's really thick It holds up to a really thick hearty dip and as you guys will see very shortly, I got a ton of stuff for dips. 
and yeah, a lot of chips, a lot of everything. So hopefully we have a huge party with everybody eating all our food. Organic white corn tortilla chips, just the basic standard tortilla chip that is a staple in our pantry and is great for guests because it is in a bigger bag. So that's nice to have since I have so many dips, I need a lot of chips. I also picked up the organic corn chip dippers for another dip that I'm making. So have a variety of different kind of flavors and tastes. And then of course the pretzel slims that go good with pretty much everything. Um, we love these in our family. So grab that. Now moving on to a little bit more back here. Got the orange strawberry banana juice. There's also a orange peach mango version of it, but it's not organic at Trader Joe's. And some people like that one better than this one, but I got grabbed this one because it's organic. Um, but super great to use as a mixer with any type of alcohol. Um, makes things easy to drink, so that's why I grabbed that. Um, I also grabbed another Pink Lady Apple Cider. We went through this bottle. It was so delicious. If you guys haven't picked it up yet, grab it now. I don't know how much longer it's gonna be on the shelves, but it is so dang good and very tart. And then last up, the pineapple juice, which obviously is a great mixer and it's great just to drink on its own. So yeah, we're set for drinks. We, we're set for mixers. It's gonna be a good one. Next, I grabbed some sliced French brioche bread. I love this bread, it's so delicious. And I actually got, um, well, I'll show you guys. I ended up getting some egg salad that I love to make with this bread. It's my favorite. Um, and Benson likes peanut butter jellies on these too, because it's really soft. I got some soft and juicy mangoes again, because we ate all those last week. Also grabbed some Middle Eastern flatbread, another staple in our house at all times. Um, and I got some tortillas this week. I think I'm gonna be doing like a taco night with burritos instead of tacos because Tim, myself, and Benson, we all like soft tacos, and these are a little bigger, so you don't have to make so many at once. So that's great for taco night slash burrito night. And then grabbed another radiatory pasta because I make usually pasta dinner once a week. And um, I just made pasta dinner last night, so I replenished our pasta with that. And then I grabbed a cheese tray for New Year's because these are super handy. And um, I love our cheese tray. It's really good. Very delicious. Swiss is my favorite cheese in this tray. Um, also grabbed some three cheese blend. Now I am making another egg bake and I mentioned this in my past haul and a lot of you guys were interested in seeing a video. I actually posted a video a long time ago on my egg bake, but I am going to be doing a new video and I'm going to be showing you through the year how much I have gotten better with making this and I've experimented and down the lines I've really like perfected it. So I'm going to be doing another egg bake video. Keep your eyes open for that, stay tuned. It should be within the next week to have that video out. So got that for that. I got the soy chorizo. This is a super popular product that Trader Joe's sells. So many people love this that are not vegetarian, not vegan, just everybody. Everybody likes it. It's spicy. It goes well with almost everything. It's just a great staple to have and I'm gonna be adding this in my egg bake. So that's why I grabbed it. Uncured beef cocktail pups, a great appetizer for New Year's Eve, along with the creamy spinach artichoke dip. This is frozen, and this is a very popular item that Trader Joe's sells as well. It's in the appetizer case in the frozen section, and this is just something that I've talked to so many people, and they have it on their freezer at all times, just in case company comes over, because it is a great, versatile dip that you can add even into pasta, as a pasta sauce, or just as a dip, whatever you want to do, but it is very versatile, and it's great. Got some tater tots, again, egg bake. Grab some broccoli florets. This is just my shopping for the week that we use broccoli a lot, so that's why I grabbed that. Um, now, another dip that's really awesome to make is this cheddar with jalapeno pub cheese. This is great on its own. This is refrigerated. However, it can turn into a nacho cheese, and how you do that is you take this pub cheese, like the entire tub, and then you grab the Cuban style black beans and then you're gonna mix the two, 
put it in a crock pot, stir it. You have to kind of stir it continuously and it turns into this amazing cheesy bean dip. Oh my gosh, it is so good. So I had to grab that for New Year's Eve because it's such a great dip and it's, it's perfect. So I grabbed that. As you guys can see right here, I grabbed more green chilies. I always have green chilies in my pantry and I just made an egg bake for Christmas morning and I used all of them so I had to get more. Um, so that's why I grabbed those. And then I also grabbed some refried pinto beans and I love our refried pinto beans because they are salsa style. So there's actually like little um, bits of tomato. I think it's tomato and peppers or something but it's very flavorful and that's for our burrito night. So I grabbed that. Now to another classic dip that I've done a video on also. Um, this is the three ingredient dip that Trader Joe's has been selling. Everybody pretty much knows about it at this point, but you just take the Trader Joe's steamed lentils. These are already pre-cooked. They come in this airtight package. You take one package of this, you're gonna take your feta. Now I grabbed the Israeli feta. This is really good feta. Um, so yeah, you take your feta, you crumble it all up, or you can get the pre-crumbled guy, whatever you want. And then you mix these two, and then the last ingredient is the bruschetta sauce. Now, if you guys shop at Trader Joe's a lot, you know Trader Joe's has a fresh bruschetta sauce that's refrigerated. There's also a shelf-stable bruschetta. I don't recommend that one. It's good, but not for this dip. This one, it needs the chunky tomatoes that have that are that come in this. I'm telling you guys, this dip is so good. My mouth's watering right now. I have to swallow my saliva because it sounds so delicious. Um, but yeah, so you just mix the three together and it just becomes this amazing dip. And I'm actually gonna be using the corn dippers for this. I know, so original, <laughs> just kidding. But really, I thought those corn dippers would go great because they're really salty and they have a curve so you can really pick up a lot of that dip. Now onto the other stuff I bought. I got the organic sour cream, egg bake. I got the egg salad. This is just for me for my lunches for the week. Um, I make like a little egg sandwich with this and I can usually get three to four sandwiches out of this tub. Next we have another appetizer. Tim actually picked this one out. This is the hot and spicy chicken wings. These are frozen. They are fully cooked so you just heat them up and they're ready to go. So he thought that would be a good appetizer for the meat eaters that are coming. Um, now with a couple more appetizers, we got the scallops wrapped in uncured bacon. This is one of Tim's favorites. It cooks up really nicely in the air fryer. So he grabbed those. We also got the mac and cheese bites because these are just, oh, this is like one of my family's favorite appetizers because it's literally mac and cheese in a fried ball. So, I mean, I don't know how anyone could not like that. So good. Um, tempura shrimp is what Tim also picked up. So he helped me with the appetizers for the meat eaters. So that uh, helped me out because I really don't know what to get for that stuff. But yeah, so that. Also grabbed a bunch of salad stuff. So I got some arugula just for everyday use. I got a Southwest chopped salad, our favorite, and then an organic Caesar salad kit. Once again, these are kind of staples in our house. The arugula, we, we go in and out of. Like I love it, but I forget about it sometimes. So it goes bad in the fridge. Um, next up, I grabbed some Cornishins. These are for a little appetizer platter I'm gonna put together with cheese. And um, I thought these would be a perfect addition because they're just like little tiny mini pickles. They're so delicious too, they're very crunchy. I got another thing of coffee. So this is just a all around great coffee that Trader Joe's has been selling for years and years. It's the organic breakfast blend, medium roast. And I felt like this is a good little in between getting the fancy coffees. Um, and nothing really caught my eye today, so I grabbed this just as my basic everyday good morning cup of coffee, so that's why I grabbed that. Then we have the Euro. Tim's been making a lot of Euro tacos with the Middle Eastern flatbread, and he just loves these. This is like an easy lunch for him, and he'll make it all the time if it's in the house, so that's why he grabbed that. I also grabbed a cracker assortment. I'm bummed that the organic cracker assortment isn't around anymore. I don't, it's probably seasonal, but Sad day, so I went with the just the normal one that Trader Joe's carries year-round. 
Um, and then the next thing I grabbed is a bunch of like little pizzas. So that way we could have some food, not just appetizers out on the table. So I got the piccolo pizza. This is a really delicious tomato mozzarella pizza. I've made this in the past and it's great, very delicious. This one is also one of my favorites. It's a burrata, prosciutto, and arugula flatbread. Now you guys are probably wondering, Katie, you don't eat meat, how do you like this? Well, the meat actually comes separate in this kit. So it's in a separate container and you add that to the end. So a lot of times if we have this, I just keep the meat off and then Tim will eat it in a separate occasion, but it makes it versatile. So if you are vegetarian and you're spouse or your partner whoever it is is not you can just put it on half the pizza if you're comfortable with that um but it's it's a good like little tip good to know type of thing but it's a really good one i love this uh, another one of my favorite pizzas that i don't get very often is the wood-fired sicilian style pizza this is a spicy pizza it is so good there's actually a packet of oil that you put on top of this after you cook it I believe it's after and it kind of spices up the whole pizza it has like a it's like a spicy oil oh my gosh it's so delicious I highly recommend trying this if you guys like spice it's not like gonna burn your tongue but it's delicious and flavorful and just a really all-around great pizza highly recommend it um and then Tim picked up the barbecue chicken pizza for guests that want chicken on their pizza. And then we also grabbed the little mini pizzas. I know pizza galore over here. Um, these are just perfect for kids. So if we do have kids coming, these are perfect like little bite-sized mini pizzas for them. I love our Spanica pitas. I make these all the time for Benson for lunch. And this is a great appetizer as well because I think there's 12, yeah, 12 in here. And they're quite large. They're really filling and they're yummy appetizers. So I grabbed those. I could not leave out the vegetable bird's nest. Of course I couldn't leave those out. These are our all time favorite appetizer at the Hespi house. So um, definitely had to grab those. And then another one of my favorites are these pastry bites with the feta cheese and caramelized onions. These are so amazingly delicious. They make a platter look really pretty and they're a warm appetizer which I think is always nice to have at a party so grab those now there's just a couple more things I got this banana bread mix I felt like the next day New Year's Day this would be really nice to cook up and have your whole house smelling like warm banana bread um, it's a very easy to make recipe in here I think it's two eggs some oil and water and then you're done um, so that's why I grabbed it just thought it would be a good addition to our morning and then last we have two brand new things so the first thing we got in is another dip this one is the black bean dip with jalapeno serrano and habanero peppers it comes in this little container it says you consume within seven days of opening it's refrigerated so make sure you keep it refrigerated and let's look at the nutrition facts here so we have two tablespoons per serving 40 calories per serving uh, 70 milligrams of sodium, six grams of carbs, less than a gram of sugar, two grams of protein, and yeah, that's it for this. And the ingredients are great on this. If you guys can see, every ingredient is, you're able to read, you understand what it is, and it's just a very clean looking dip. So if you guys are into like very clean eating and having very, um natural ingredients this is this is it for you this is a great dip and then the second dip that we got in is the one i'm excited about because as you guys can see it's vegetarian it's the queso fundido dip it's the spicy cheese dip with soy chorizo poblano peppers and queso fresco and there is a little topping on there it looks so amazing so here we go for the nutrition facts we have two tablespoons per serving 50 calories per serving three and a half grams of total fat, 10 milligrams of cholesterol, 125 milligrams sodium, two grams of carbs, zero fiber, less than a gram of sugar, and two grams of protein. Now you guys can see the ingredients on this one are much, much longer than the ingredients of the last one, but there is a lot of stuff going on in this dip, so I'm curious to try them both. Um, I think Tim and I are going to just do this little taste test at the end now. So let's go ahead and check it out. See how it is. So here we are. Tim and Katie, last taste test of the year. What do you think? I can't wait. It's going to be a good one. <laughs> it's just two things. Actually, I did 
Figure we should try this Cali Creamin Creamsicle beer. Hey, Orange. <laughs> Make an appearance as usual. Um, and you guys will probably laugh, but I'm using the fall leaf chips. I hadn't opened them and they're still great. Not still at all. Um, I actually opened these for Christmas day. So yes. Um, the first thing we're going to go ahead and taste test is the queso fundido dip. This has the soy chorizo in it. It smells amazing. Heat it up for two minutes, stir it, and then another minute and it's good to go. It's hot. Ready to try? Yeah, let's do it. Take your leaf. I'm really looking forward to this. Me too. And I, as you stir it up, like the soy chorizo is all in the middle, so then you like mix it up, and then it all kind of combines. It smells like chili cheese right now. Kind of does, yeah. Tastes like chili cheese. It does. Exactly. Yeah. I definitely taste the soy chorizo in it. It's really good. It is not really too good. spicy. Yeah. Um, really good, probably on a hot dog. <laughs> um, but I don't eat hot dogs, so what do you think <laughs> this would go well with? Pretzels? I think, yeah, I think it would be good on a hot dog because it's kind of like a chili cheese dog. Mm -hmm. It's kind of, I think, what you're yeah, going that's for. What I was thinking. Or a baked potato. Yeah. Ooh, loaded mm -hmm. baked potato with this. On. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. What I'm going to be using to finish the whole thing of this is going to be the soft pretzels that I. Right. Haul, that we haul like every mm -hmm. week. Um, that's gonna be really good with it. Uh, really anything that goes well with like a cheese dip, it's great with just chips itself. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, I'd drink it if I could. <laughs> yeah, that's true, you really would. So I say this is definitely a winner. It's very good actually. Yeah. Um, and then the other bean dip we're gonna try, I'm sorry, bean dip. The other dip we're gonna try is the bean dip. Woohoo, surprise. Um, so this is the jalapeno serrano and habanero pepper mm. black bean dip. This stays refrigerated and it is a cold dip. This one doesn't say to like heat it up or anything. I'm sure maybe you could, but um, it's also gluten free for those of you that are gluten free. I taste something in here. Mm. It's very bland. It just tastes like a bean dip. It doesn't taste like any type of serrano peppers or jalapenos or anything. Yeah, it almost it's almost like a little bit of a vinegary mm -hmm. taste to it. Very slightly. It might be the mm -hmm. peppers. But um yeah, it just tastes like mashed like refried beans, black beans. Um I don't know. For this price, I'd say maybe you could make it at home and you can flavor it how you want. You could add more spice yeah. to it because I get a little bit of the spice, but it's like nothing even near like how spicy you'd want something like this to be because it's just beans. Um, but I mean, I think it's it would be a good addition on like a platter with like lots of different dips and chips and stuff for people that are vegan or people that are gluten free or people that are just like wanting a healthier dip. This is obviously a very, very healthy dip. Um, but oh, apple cider vinegar. That's what I'm tasting in here. That's what I'm tasting. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's nothing like, it's not wowing me or anything. I agree. It needs more flavor. Just scoop it all out and to put it into the queso fundido. It might, <laughs> might be a good match. Yeah. And then the last thing we're going to go ahead and try is the Cali Creamin Vanilla Cream Ale Creamsicle. Yum. And how cute is this little pan? Okay. I'm going to have you try first because I'm wearing lipstick. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, it's good. Is it? Well, you drank yeah. half the, the can already. Oh, well. <laughs> it really does taste like a creamsicle. Um, it's, it's good, right? Whoa, it Just does. like a creamsicle. For those that don't like beer, this is probably one you could drink. Oh, yeah, for that sure. That seriously tastes like a creamsicle. That is wild. But it's not like overly sugary where you're like, oh no. my gosh, and blah, blah, blah. it's just yeah. perfect. It it's tastes really like good. a beer still, but like not mm -hmm. really. I don't know. It tastes exactly like a creamsicle with like carbonation and a little bit of like the beer aftertaste. It's actually very good. Definitely strange. I'm always so surprised when I try these beers from Trader Joe's because I'm like, I get that the labels this way, but then I try it and I'm like, whoa, it's really the labels telling the truth. So yeah, I think it's really fun beer. Different than anything I've really had before. It's a winner. I like this one. It is. Okay, guys. Well, I hope you guys liked this Trader Joe's haul, the taste test, and my makeup. Check out my Get Ready With Me. Um, 
Thanks, honey. Number one supporter right here. <laughs> I hope you guys all had a happy holiday season. We are rounding it out with the New Year's Eve festivities. So make sure you go to Trader Joe's, pick up all the fun items I've hauled, and make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.